Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, we are going to interface joystick with STM32. I am using STM32 F103 microcontroller. Joystick can be used for the purpose of controlling the robot, or a camera, or anything else. The output from the joystick is in the form of an analog signal. And so, we have to use the ADC to read this data. Here, I am using channels 1 and 2 of ADC 1. The pins used are A1 and A2. There is a little bit of setup needs to be done in the ADC. First, select the continuous conversion mode and enable it. This is because we want the conversion to be taking place continuously. Next, select the number of conversions as 2. Because we have two channels to do the conversion for. Rank 1 is for channel 1, and I have changed the sampling time to 239.5 cycles to make the conversion fastest possible. Rank 2 is for channel 2, with same settings. Next thing we need to do is enable the DMA in circular mode. This is important, since, in order to use multi-channel, we have to use DMA. Next, I am going to connect four pins to the four LEDs, to demonstrate the working of the joystick. And so, I am selecting these four pins as output. The rest is our usual setup. Here I am creating an array of two variables, to store the ADC result. It must be a 32-bit unsigned integer, because that's the argument of the ADC DMA function. Next, we need to start ADC in DMA mode. And the argument will be the array, that we created above. Please note that, do not write this inside the while loop. Write it before the while loop begins. Now let's compile it, and flash in the microcontroller. Let me just quickly fix this one. Okay so the flashing is done. Now, I will show you the result, in the STM studio. First go to the project folder, in the debug folder, open the .elf file. Now send both of these variables to the variable viewer, and change it to the bar graph.
Now, notice the bar graph, as I move the stick around. Note these values carefully, especially the extreme values. This is varying between 0 to 4095, because the ADC and STM32 have 12 bit of resolution. We will write our rest of the program based on these values. In my case VR0 is connected to the VRX, and VR1 to the VRY. This is the case if the stick is in the middle. Then, all the LEDs will be off. Rest, we can write individual cases for each position, turning on individual LEDs. This is it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching.